Hello everyone, this is Darsnovia here. This is my video on Joker. Now, considering this movie's been controversial, and that's an understatement, I'm going to do my own take on the movie. Now, if you're not into politics, I suggest you leave this video now. Because in order for me to talk about this movie and do it properly, I'm going to have to talk about some politics, considering this is the most political comic book movie that's came out in decades, perhaps ever. I mean, Joker, as far as I see it, represents the problems that are going on in modern day America. Even though the movie is set in the 1980s, there's a lot that it spoke to me, honestly. And in order for me to, to talk about this movie and not filter anything, because for those of you who have been following me for the past few years now know that I hate filtering myself and I refuse to do it. And I don't think you deserve it either. But for those who don't want to hear about politics, I respect that. And I would not hold it against you if you click away from this video right now because this will be political and there will be spoilers for the movie. So if you haven't seen it yet, leave. Now that I've got that out of the way, I'm going to actually get started on Joker. Now, what do I think of this movie? A masterpiece. In fact, this is probably the best comic book movie of the decade. No question. I mean, Logan was amazing. But this? Oh, oh shit. I mean... As a movie on its own, if you've never read a comic book, you never heard of Joker, oh god, this movie is amazing. The actor who did the Joker deserves a award for this, because he his performance was amazing. And the thing I love about this film is it doesn't sugarcoat it. It does show, you know, what happens when a society abandons the most vulnerable. And Arthur, the main character of this movie, who is the Joker in this take of the character, we get to see him lose, you know, his grip. We see him snap, and one bad thing after another happens. The programs that are, you know, that were there to support him, in you know, social services, which his medications is cut like in the real world, like in modern day America, how depending on where you live in the country, social services could be cut for things that you need in order to survive and to function. This actually has happened and still happens to this day in society. And this is probably the, the part why critics hated the movie. The movie has a very anti-rich sentiment. And that is something that I think, if you're a poor working class person, I think it's easy to relate to. If, you're, if you've been poor and you have suffered, you know, some form of mental illness, depression, anxiety, I think this is relatable. I think Arthur, in my opinion, could speak differently depending on the viewer. And I think that is what is great about this movie. The thing I'm surprised is how this movie was allowed to get past, you know, I don't know how it was able to be shown, considering this movie was highly critical of neoliberalism. For those of you who don't know what neoliberalism is, it's capitalism above everything else, regardless how it affects society. And... I think it, it, it was a critique on capitalism, unlike The Last Jedi, it did it well. In fact, it was genuine. The problems that are caused by capitalism are right in front of you. This movie showcases that, how the rich in Gotham City have done nothing but make the problems in that worse. And I see Gotham City representing what America is today. How the rich, you know, in the past 30 years, more than that, but mostly 30, 
as long as I've been alive, have done nothing but loot this country, and the world for that matter, but this country I'm talking about in particular, and as a result, people are just struggling to get by, and Arthur, I feel like, is very relatable if you're a poor working class man. If you are middle and upper middle class and or rich and you see this movie, you're not going to be able to relate to Arthur. And I'm sorry, but it's the honest truth. And I feel like that is why the critics don't like this movie. Because they're uncomfortable with the subject matters. The movie is supposed to be disturbing. It's supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. You're supposed to, you know feel weird and feel whatever a thing you're feeling when you watch this movie because you can't help but sympathize with Arthur because his grievances are valid and it's something that we all, that all of us feel to some degree a resentment towards a bunch of people that have all these resources and do nothing with them but make the problems for the lower classes work you know worse like Thomas Wayne, which I feel like was a stand-in for, you know, the out-of-touch elites like Jeff Bezos, Ronald Reagan, Donald Trump, depending on what era you live in, or whatever, use whatever person you feel like, thinking that the poor working class are, you know, idiots, that they're poor because it's their own fault. That stupid nonsense about personal responsibility that's been pushed by the neoliberals, you know, in Britain with Margaret Thatcher, in America with Ronald Reagan, and Joker just basically showcases how destructive neoliberalism is, and that is why I feel like why critics are uncomfortable with this movie. This movie deals with many different themes, also you know, with mental illness, depression, and the things that people do to each other that's cruel. Like the talk host guy, you know, the comedian. The way he berated Arthur. You know, it's, it's kind of like what they do here. You know, it just sh showcases us how cruel um, a society truly is. And the Joker is not going to, you know... Speak to everyone the same. For me, I see it as a critique of neoliberalism. And I, as far as I'm concerned, I think Joker is the most left-wing you know, movie that's come out in a decade. No movie has criticized capitalism you know, and done it well. This movie in the mainstream, the fact that it's being shown in mainstream theaters is a, a feat within itself. Joker, in my opinion, is one of the greatest movies that's come out in this decade. I think it does a great job with the message that it has delivered. And fuck the critics. The critics are only uncomfortable with this film because the movie has the balls to challenge the status quo. Criticize the status quo. And not be afraid to do it. This movie is a realistic take on what the Wayne family in reality would be like. They aren't the noble family that's portrayed in the main Batman canon. They would be an out-of-touch elite that are kind of vile people themselves. And this movie can't help but make you root for the Joker. Help make you root for the people that are disfranchised. As far as I'm concerned, the Joker in this movie, in this version, is a working class hero. He is someone that I feel like, you know, you can relate to. I know this speaks to me as someone on the leftist end of the spectrum, but I feel like this movie is a left-wing movie in general. And anyone that says this movie isn't political... Get your head out of the sand. The Joker is one of the most political movies that's come out in years. And especially a comic book movie. This makes Avengers Endgame look like a kid's movie. And that's considered one of the best you know, comic book movies of all time. But this is an adult movie. And I recommend anyone to see it. If you've got past this point where I've talked about politics, congratulations. I give this movie a 
classic rating, I think it's going to be remembered as a classic that's going to stand the test of time. And I don't care what anyone says, the Joker is woke. Get over it, um, people. It's the most woke comic book movie in existence. Fuck Captain Marvel. That ain't woke. This is.